Counting with Peppa Pig. Peppa and Grandpa Pig are getting all of their decorations ready for a big Halloween party. They've decorated Grandpa Pig's garden with one, two, three, four, five toy spiders. And one, two, three, four, five toy bats. Pepper is dressed for the party like a witch and George is a bright orange pumpkin. Grandpa Pig has all of his pumpkins in a line. Pepper is going to choose the best one. There's one pumpkin, two pumpkins, three pumpkins, four pumpkins. There's one, two, three, four pumpkins. Peppa is going outside to see if there are any more pumpkins. There is a very big pumpkin outside. Five pumpkins! And this is the biggest one of them all. Peppa's friends have all come to the party. They can't believe the size of the giant pumpkin. There were one, two, three, four, five pumpkins one two three four five pumpkins pumpkin competition pepper and her friends are at playgroup <laughs> it is almost halloween children and we are going to have a pumpkin competition Ooh. Have you all brought in your pumpkins? Yes! I grew my pumpkin from a seed. My mummy bought my pumpkin from the supermarket. I've got a pumpkin that's made out of plastic. Uh, I haven't got my pumpkin here because Grandpa is still growing it. Fine. Just remember to decorate your pumpkins and bring them back here for the competition tonight. <laughs> there will be prizes for everyone. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to collect Pepper. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Have you got my pumpkin for the competition tonight? Don't worry, Peppa. Your pumpkin is safe and sound in my greenhouse. Is my pumpkin big, Grandpa? Oh, yes. This is Grandpa Pig's greenhouse. May I present your pumpkin? Grandpa! It is the biggest pumpkin in the world. Quite possibly. But how are we going to get such a huge pumpkin to the playgroup? One step at a time, Granny Pig. We need to make this pumpkin into a lantern. Ooh. First, I will scoop out all the inside. <laughs> now we cut out the face. <laughs> and we put a candle inside to make it glow. Lovely! <laughs> now we put the pumpkin into the car. <laughs> the pumpkin is very, very heavy. <laughs> There. Step one complete. We're out of the greenhouse. Now for step two. We lift it into the car. <coughs> the pumpkin is impossible to lift. <coughs> I told you it was too big. It's not too big. We just need a bit of help. Hello! Miss Rabbit's helicopter rescue service! Miss Rabbit! Please come to our rescue. It's very important. Come quickly. I'm on my way. All the children have brought their pumpkin lanterns to playgroup. Welcome to the pumpkin competition. If everyone is here, we will get started. Peppa isn't here. Oh, where is she? Miss Rabbit's rescue helicopter has arrived at Grandpa's greenhouse. So, who needs rescuing? My pumpkin! We have to get it to the playgroup in time for the competition. OK. 
top of us. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the playground. I think we will have to start without Pepper. Ah, it won't be fun without Pepper. The prize for the best pumpkin grown from seed goes to Susie Sheep. That's me. This is fun. <laughs> the prize for the best pumpkin bought from a supermarket goes to Pedro Pony. That's me. Nay. The prize for the best plastic pumpkin goes to... What's that noise? Look. What's that? There's a light in the sky. Ooh. <laughs> it's a flying pumpkin. It's Papa's pumpkin. Wow. Hello. Sorry we're late. Hello, Hello Peppa. Am I in time for the pumpkin competition? Yes, of course. The prize for the best flying pumpkin goes to Peppa Pig. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> this is the best Halloween Peppa loves Halloween. Everyone loves Halloween. Pumpkin party. It is a lovely autumn day. Daddy Pig has brought a pumpkin home. We're going to have a pumpkin party. And all your friends are invited. Hooray! We'll start by making a pumpkin lantern. Oh, goody. How do we do that? We draw a funny face. I'll draw the eyes. George can draw the nose. And I'll draw the mouth. <laughs> that is a funny face. Next, we cut it out. I'll do the cutting because I'm a grown-up. Pepper and George can scoop out the inside. <laughs> we use the insides to make my special pumpkin pie. And the outside to make our pumpkin lantern. Lovely! Now you little piggies need to dress up for the pumpkin party. Pepper is dressing up as a witch. Do I look witchy? Very witchy. You need to do some cackling. What's cackling? It's how witches laugh, like this. <laughs> Very good cackling. <laughs> George is dressing up as a dinosaur. Dinosaur. Grrr. A scary dinosaur. <laughs> Rebecca and Richard Rabbit are here with Mr Rabbit. Oh, what a sight. Has the party started yet? No, you're very early. Hello, <laughs> I'm a witch. <laughs> George is a dinosaur. Grrr. What are you? I'm a carrot. Gone bad. Ooh. And Richard is a monster carrot. Uh. Is that what a monster carrot looks like? Yes. Let's go and get the others for the party. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig is hard at work in the study. Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr. Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. <laughs> Ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. 
Mr. Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh! He's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. Bye-bye, <coughs> Mr Skinny Legs. It is bedtime. I liked watching Mr Skinny Legs make his web today. And tomorrow, he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Where will the new web be, Daddy? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Good night. Night, night. <coughs> it is morning. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. I don't want to be late. I have an important meeting at the office. Daddy? You work very hard. Yes, I do. But not as hard as Mr Skinny Legs. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everyone. See you tonight. Stop, Daddy. What is it? You cannot drive the car today. Why not? Look. Mr Skinny Legs has built a web, joining the car to the house. <laughs> Daddy, you said you must never, ever break a web. Did I? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. If you move the car, you will break the web. But how am I going to get to work? Don't worry, Daddy. You can borrow my little bicycle. Here you are. Thank you, Peppa. Daddy Pig is riding Peppa's little bicycle. Have a nice ride to work. I will, Peppa. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Daddy Pig works very hard. But Mr. Skinny Legs works even harder. <laughs> Mr. Skinny Legs. Peppa is playing with her doll's house. George is playing too. <laughs> Pepper is making a tea party for the doll family. Here, George. I'm the mummy and daddy. You can be the children. <laughs> <coughs> children? It's nearly tea time, so you must wash your hands. <coughs> George is putting the dolls to bed. Night, night. George, why are you putting the children to bed? They're having a tea party. <laughs> George likes putting the dolls to bed. Children, come downstairs right now, or you won't get any cake. George isn't listening. He's too busy putting the dolls to bed. George, if you want to play with my doll's house, you have to help with the tea party. Here, George. You can fill the teapot with water. <coughs> Children, come downstairs right now. Mummy, we're coming. <laughs> George is going to fill the teapot with water. Ooh. George has found a spider in the sink. <laughs> George wants the spider to be his friend. Oh. <laughs> George likes the spider. <laughs> the spider likes George. <laughs> Peppa loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Chocolate biscuits, Daddy. We had lots yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, Mummy. I must have eaten them all. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Naughty, Daddy.
George is putting the spider to bed. Night, night. George, what are you doing? You have to help me with the tea party. <laughs> Bedroom. Oh, oh, don't worry, Pepper. Please, Daddy, take it away. <laughs> no need to panic. Hello, George. Have you seen the spider? It's too scary. Take it away. There's no need to be afraid, Pepper. Spiders are very, very small and they can't hurt you. But don't worry. Daddy will take it out of the bedroom. Whoa! He's quite big, isn't he? Um, I'll just fetch Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig! <laughs> Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. Pepper feels a little bit braver. He likes being in my doll's house. Hello, children. I hear you found a little spider. I'll take him out of the bedroom so you two can play. Mummy, his name is Mr Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs is big, isn't he? <laughs> Pepper and George like the spider. <laughs> night, night. George is putting the spider to bed. No, George. He wants some tea. He doesn't want to be in bed. <laughs> Are you hungry, Mr. Skinny Legs? Would you like some cake? Pepper isn't afraid of the spider anymore. Mummy, Daddy, sit down. We are all going to have tea with Mr Skinny Legs. Who wants tea? Me, please. Me, please. <laughs> Delicious. Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Here's your tea, Mr Skinny Legs. What's that? You want to say hello to my daddy? Hello, Mr Daddy Pig. Hey, uh, that's all right, Pepper. Let Mr Skinny Legs drink his tea. You're not scared, are you, Daddy? Oh, no. Of course not. Well, <laughs> not so close. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Pepper <laughs> likes Mr Skinny Legs. <laughs> Everyone likes Mr Skinny Legs. <laughs> Madam Gazelle's house. Pepper and her family are visiting Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle. Hello, everyone. Come in, come in. Whoa. 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 Your hallway is a big slide, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> is it meant to be like that? No, the house is just old. Everything here is a little bit wonky donkey. Ah oh, everything is leaning now, but it wasn't always this way. When did your house start leaning, Madam Gazelle? Oh, I don't know. It's been so long. And now I have cracks everywhere, too. Hmm. I think your house might need fixing. Can't I just paper over the cracks and paint it? That is what my builder told me to do. What does the outside wall look like? Ah, what's this? Oh, that is my little Christmas tree. That's not little. That's big. It was from Christmas a long time ago. It was a little baby tree with a fairy on top. After Christmas, I could not bear to throw it away. So I planted it in the garden. Your baby tree has grown so much, it's pushing your house over. That's why your house is all wonky donkey. Oh dear, what can we do about it? I'll call Mr. Bull. Hello, Mr. Bull. We have a big tree that needs looking at. I'll be right there. So, where's this tree then? Here it is. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle. Strong roots. Yes, but it's pushing the house over. Oh, yes. Let's chop it down. Oh, dear, my poor tree. Stop! I saw something move in the tree. It was a little animal. In that case, I must take a look. 
Before Mr. Bull chops the tree down, he must check that no animals are living in it. Ah! Mr. Bull has found a bird's nest. Look at that! Little birdies nesting in your tree, Madam Gazelle. Please, can I see the birdies? OK, Peppa. We can watch from the windows. Ooh, lovely birdies. I think there's something else higher up the tree. Look what's here! Fuzzy bees! <laughs> Let's see what else there is. I say, look at this! <gasps> it's an owl! Oh, I think I see something else. Onward and upward. Aha! You've got bats, Madame Gazelle! Ah, my friends, the bats. They remind me of the old country. And what's this? Ah, my Christmas decorations! And a fairy! That is the fairy I put on the little tree all those years ago. It's a magnificent tree. A wonderful home to so many little animals. Yes, this tree should not be chopped down. Hooray! But wait, if the tree stays, what will happen to my house? Well... <gasps> Eventually, it will fall over. But I need a house to live in. Oh. Huh, I've got an idea. We'll put your house in the tree. Mr. Bull, the crane, please. Right you are. It's a tree house. <laughs> yes, it is wonderful. I have always wanted to live in a treehouse. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves treehouses. Everyone loves treehouses. Camping. Pepper and her family are going camping. I love camping. We're here. <laughs> Peppa, George, this is the tent I had when I was a little boy. Daddy, how are you going to make that into a tent? Don't worry, Peppa. I'm an expert at camping. <laughs> Mummy Pig, put the tent on the poles, please. That's it. Easy as pie. Ooh. Do these pegs do anything? Of course. I forgot about the pegs. The pegs hold the tent up. There. The tent is a bit little. It was big enough for me when I was a boy. But it does look a bit small now. That's because you've grown a bit since you were a boy, Daddy Pig. And your tummy has grown the most of all. <laughs> oh, talking of tummies, we should cook supper. Yes, yes. <laughs> First, we have to collect sticks to make a fire. Yippee! <laughs> Pepper and George are helping Daddy Pig collect sticks for the campfire. George, I'll pick up the sticks and you can carry them. <laughs> <laughs> Collecting sticks is fun. <laughs> Good. That's enough sticks. That's a splendid campfire. <laughs> Now I'll light it. Here are the matches. Oh, oh, we don't need matches. Daddy, how can you light it without matches? I'm going to make fire the old way, by simply rubbing these two sticks together. Daddy Pig is rubbing the two sticks together to light the campfire. Where is the fire, Daddy? Nearly there. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> Now we can heat up the tomato soup. Ah, listen to the sounds of nature. What is that sound? That is the sound of crickets chirping. What is that? That's an owl. Look, there it is. Wow! And what's that noise? Oh, I'm not sure. It's Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy rumbling is one of the best sounds of nature. It means it's time to eat. I love tomato soup. So do I. 
<laughs> There's another one of Daddy Pig's sounds of nature. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Come on, children, into the tent. It's bedtime. We won't all fit in. The tent is too little. It will be fine. In you go. Move further in, Mummy Pig. Daddy, you're too big for the tent. Never mind. I'd rather sleep outside anyway. Good night, Daddy Pig. Good night, Daddy. Night, night. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are sleeping in the tent. Daddy Pig is sleeping outside, under the stars. Ah, I love camping. Sleeping in the open air with the stars above me. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. <laughs> it is morning. Daddy, it was lovely and cosy in the tent. Oh, where's Daddy? Daddy Pig has gone. Poor Daddy Pig. He must have been cold and wet. And now where is he? What's that sound? It sounds like snoring. <laughs> Daddy Pig! What? Daddy, you're safe! <laughs> of course I'm safe. I'm an expert at camping. I slept in the car. <laughs> Silly Daddy. <laughs> I love camping. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are having a fancy <laughs> dress party. All their friends are invited. Pepper is dressed as a fairy princess. And George is dressed as a dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> Here are Pepper's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. I'm glad the nurse has arrived. Have you just come from the hospital? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. <laughs> Very good. My, my. Who have we here? <laughs> I'm a pirate. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Nay. I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. What are you, Rebecca Rabbit? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Fantastic. Come in. There's a fairy princess and a dinosaur waiting to meet you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello, Susie. I'm Princess Peppa. <laughs> you must bow when you speak to me. Hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. Open wide and say, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nay. I'm a clown. Do something funny. <laughs> Rebecca, why are you dressed as a carrot? I like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> a scary dinosaur. <laughs> Peppa is admiring herself in the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> you are Peppa. <laughs> Meow. Hello, Peppa. Hello. I'm a little fairy princess. <laughs> I'm a witch. Meow. And I've got a magic wand. I've got a magic wand too. I can turn you into a frog. And I'll turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. <Grr. laughs> Oh, dear. George is scared of his own reflection. Oh, silly George. <laughs> Look, it's you in the mirror. <laughs> Children, it's time to decide who has the best fancy dress costume. We need a judge. Me, me. <laughs> As it's Peppa's party, maybe she should be the judge. I'm the judge. I'm the judge. Daddy, what is a judge? The judge decides who has the best costume. Oh, goody! Pepper is going to choose who has the best costume. Susie, can I see your costume, please? <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. 
Susie. I make people better. Very good, Nurse Susie. <coughs> now, Danny. Well, I'm a pirate. Shovel me timbers. <laughs> now, Candy. Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Well, I'm a fairy princess and I can turn you into a frog. <coughs> children, children. Sorry, Mummy. Who's next? I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. And Rebecca? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and my little brother George is a scary dinosaur. Grrr. Everyone's costume is very good. Hooray! <laughs> now you say who the winner is. Oh, yes. <clears throat> and the winner is... Me. <gasps> Pepper, you can't pick yourself. You're the judge. Oh, can't I? You have to pick another winner. OK. The carrot wins. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you. <laughs> Pepper loves fancy dress parties. Everyone loves fancy dress parties. <laughs> Danny Dog is playing in his pirate den. <laughs> Here are Pepper and her friends. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Danny. Danny. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Do you want to play pirates? Yes. Get dressed up then. Danny Dog has a dressing up box full of pirate clothes. Ah! My hearties. I've got a treasure chest. Ooh. It's a biscuit tin. It's a treasure chest. But it's still got biscuits in. <laughs> uh, who wants a biscuit? Me! 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 Now it's a treasure chest. Let's find some treasure to put in it. Hurrah! Someone has to stay here to guard the pirate ship. Me! I will guard it. If you see someone coming, shout, Stop! Who goes there? Stop! Uh, who goes there? OK, let's go find some treasure! Hurrah! Danny Dog likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Everyone likes being a pirate. Hurrah! A jolly pirate's we that's how the deep blue sea to find a golden treasure for sail ahoy me. <laughs> Danny has found a pine cone. Treasure! <laughs> Pepper has found a shell. Treasure! <laughs> Susie has found an old bit of rope. Treasure! <laughs> Freddy has found a pebble. Treasure! <laughs> I'll just have a little sleep. Pedro mm. always takes his glasses off before he sleeps. <sighs> Let's creep up on Pedro. Yes! Danny, Pepper, Susie and Freddy are creeping up on Pedro. Boo! Hoo! Oh. Ah! You were asleep. Uh, yes. Sorry. You're lucky we're friendly pirates. <laughs> We've got treasure. That's nice. Let's put it in the treasure chest. Now we can bury it. Yes! And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Hurrah! <sighs> the pirates are off to bury the treasure chest over a hill. Round the little bush. Let's bury it here. How will we know where we've buried it? Let's make a treasure map. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Pedro has fallen asleep again. Oh! I'm awake! I'm awake! Pedro? Don't you wear glasses? Uh, hello. Mummy Pony has come to collect Pedro. Who goes there? I'm your mummy, Pedro. Pedro cannot see very well without his glasses. Where are your glasses? Um, 
I don't know, Mummy. When did you last have them? When we put the treasure into the treasure chest. What treasure chest? The one we buried in the garden. Pedro's glasses are buried in the garden. Oh, dear. How are we going to find them now? We've got a treasure map. Mummy Pony is using Peppa's map to find the buried treasure. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. They have found the treasure. My glasses! Hurrah! <laughs> Thank you! Treasure maps are very useful. Especially for finding your glasses if you accidentally bury them. <laughs> Danny's Pirate Party. Today is Danny Dog's birthday. He is having a party. Yo ho ho! Everyone has come dressed as pirates. Yo ho ho! Pedro Pony is dressed as a cowboy. Hi there, me hearties. It is Grandad Dog, dressed as a pirate. Hello, Grandad Dog. Call me Dogbeard. Hello, Dogbeard. Which of ye scurvy pirates crave a ration of swashbuckling o'er the brainy seas? Why is he talking funny? <laughs> That's pirate talk. If you want to play my pirate game, say arr. Is this a dangerous game? No, Pedro. Grandad Dog has promised me it will be a very safe game. Aww. But it will be exciting. So who wants to play? Arr! Here be the plan. Time was, I had a heap of gold that was mine by right, but I was horn swaddled by one cat and hog. What? Pirate talk is a bit difficult to understand. Captain Hog? took my treasure. Oh. Know you, the Captain Hog is a fearsome pirate. Some of you may already know him as Grandpa Pig. Ah, Grandpa Pig! <laughs> the game is to go to Captain Hog's hideout and get back my treasure without being caught. Hooray! Everyone is excited to be playing the pirate game. Hello, Grandpa Pig. We're on our way. Jolly good. Jolly good. Grandpa Pig and Polly Parrot are guarding the pirate treasure. Be the black galleon fast and the wind at our backs will away. What does that mean? Run to the boat. Yo ho ho. Yo ho. <laughs> oh there. Put your life jackets on. <laughs> on Grandad Dog's boat, all the children must wear life jackets. That scurvy dog beard should be here by now. Here's a nice cup of tea, Grandpa Pig. Oh, thank you, Granny Pig. At last. Are we all ready now? Mr. Dogbeard, I need to go to the toilet. And me. And me. And me. And me. And me. What can be keeping them? Hello, Grandad Dog. I thought you said you were on your way. Yes, yes, we're almost there. It's taken a while to get my crew together. Anchors away! Full sail! The children have arrived at Grandpa Pig's orchard. <laughs> the game is to get that treasure without being caught. Hooray for the pirates! Shush, Mummy! I hope there are no pirates around here trying to take my lovely treasure. Pepper and her friends have got the coins without being caught. It's chocolate coins. Everybody loves chocolate coins. Yum, yum, yum. 
Ah, got you. Grandad, dog has been caught. Try and take my treasure, would you? It's mine. I won it fair and square. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, uh, thank you, Captain Hog and Dogbeard, for the lovely pirate game. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, oh, yes. It's been lots of fun. Happy birthday, Danny. <laughs> This be the best pirate party ever! <laughs> <laughs> Princess Pepper. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig have come for dinner. Hello. Hello. Where are Pepper and George? They're asleep. Oh, but I so wanted to see them. Can I take a peek? OK, Granny Pig, but be very quiet. <laughs> Granny Pig! Tangy Ig! Hello, my little darlings. You should be asleep. Tell us a story. OK, but only if you promise to go straight back to sleep. We'll go to sleep after the story. All right. Once upon a time, there was... A little boy called Pedro Pony, and he found a magic bean. Oh, yes. Now, Pedro planted that bean, and it grew into an enormous beanstalk that went high into the sky. That's right. Pedro climbed to the top of that beanstalk and found a... A horrible big giant. But I don't want that. I want a princess. Oh, yes. There he found a beautiful Princess Pepper <laughs> and Sir George, the brave knight. <laughs> and a cook who makes the most delicious food ever. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Grandpa Pig are waiting to eat dinner. I'll go and see what's keeping Granny Pig. What's next in the story? Naughty Granny Pig, you woke the little ones. He promised to sleep. When the story ends, Grandpa. I'm good at ending stories, Granny Pig. You go downstairs. I won't be long. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, and a cook who makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The end. Then they all woke up. And along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. That bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary chicken! <laughs> Pepper, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> OK. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party! And all their friends came. <laughs> right, I think I'd better sort this out. <laughs> Daddy Pig. They're almost asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take over now. You have to finish the story, Mummy. All right, quickly now. Tell me what's happened. Once upon a time, in olden days, a long time ago... Mummy Pig's been up there for a long time. I can hear snoring. At last, Pepper and George are asleep. And then they all lived happily ever after. The end. Pepper, George. Shush! Mummy is asleep. Oh, 
It looks like Princess Pepper is the best at telling bedtime stories. That's right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day, and Pepper and George are riding their bicycles. That's a fine pumpkin, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig is very proud of his pumpkin. Pumpkins are the only thing I can grow, probably because I love pumpkin pie. Come on, George. Danny, Susie, Rebecca. Peppa and her friends Danny Dog, Susie Sheep and Rebecca Rabbit are riding their bicycles. George is riding his tricycle. He's going so slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's race to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. If we race to Daddy's pumpkin, we have to be very careful not to bump into it. <laughs> Daddy would be very sad if the pumpkin got broken. Don't worry, Peppa. Race you! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are racing to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Hey, watch out for my pumpkin! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, look out! Daddy's pumpkin! <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> look at George, he's going so slowly. <laughs> George is still riding a baby bike. <laughs> Yours is a baby bike too, Peppa. You've still got stabilisers. I can ride without my stabilisers. <laughs> me too. And me. <coughs> Let's ride up the hill again. <coughs> Are you coming, Peppa? No, I think I'll stay here. <coughs> <coughs> See you later. Bye. Peppa wishes she did not have stabilisers on her bicycle. <coughs> Daddy, I don't want stabilisers anymore. Do you think you can ride without them? Yes! All right, Peppa. Let's take them off. Daddy Pig is taking the stabilisers off Peppa's bicycle. Are you sure you want to ride without stabilisers? Yes! You've never done it before. I can do it. I can, I can. Ah! <laughs> it's not funny. Riding without stabilisers is not easy. Would you like some help, Peppa? Yes, please, Daddy. All right. Ready, steady, go! Don't let go, Daddy. Don't worry. I've got you. You're doing really well, Peppa. Hold on, Daddy. <laughs> Just keep pedalling. Peppa is riding on her own without stabilisers. <laughs> You've been cycling on your own for ages. Have I? You're really very good at it. Am I? Oh, I can do it. Look at me, look at me. I can ride my bike properly. <coughs> Danny, Susie, Rebecca, look. I don't need my stabilisers anymore. <coughs> look at me. Hooray! <laughs> 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 Peppa, look out! My pumpkin! I'm going to win! Peppa isn't looking where she is going. <laughs> oh dear. Peppa has squashed Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Sorry I squashed your pumpkin, Daddy. Never mind the pumpkin. The important thing is that you are okay. In future, you really must look where you are going. I promise I will, Daddy. Good. Anyway, now the pumpkin is broken, I can make it into pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie! And because Daddy Pig's pumpkin is so big, there will be enough pumpkin pie for everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Wendy Wolf's birthday. It is Wendy Wolf's birthday, and she has invited all her friends to a party. Happy birthday, Wendy! Thank you, everybody. <laughs> 
Mr Wolf is blowing up balloons for the party. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow these balloons up. <laughs> I love balloons. <laughs> me too. And me. And, and me. me. And and me. me. <laughs> Everybody loves balloons. <laughs> Come on, let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the balloons fall to the ground. Keep them in the air. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Here is Mrs. Wolf. Who wants bubbles? Me, 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 me. Okay, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow some bubbles. <laughs> I love bubbles. They are a bit like balloons, but they pop when you touch them. Watch. Woo! See, I popped one. Rump, <laughs> rump. <laughs> oh, we've popped all the bubbles. We can always make some more bubbles. Who wants to go? Me. me, me, me. me. <laughs> okay. Hooray! Are you ready? Yes, Mrs. Wolf. You have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. And blow. <laughs> so many bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the sky. Ooh. Look at that big bubble. That's not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah, and you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um, you howl. Ah Why do you do that? That's what wolves do. We howl at the moon. Wendy, can they teach us how to do that? Okay. First, you have to look up at the moon, and then you howl. Ah Ah Wendy Wolf has taught everyone how to howl like a wolf. Wow! Who did that one? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't any of us. It's a wild animal! Ah. It is Granny Wolf. Happy birthday, Wendy. Hello, Granny. You must all be Wendy's friends. How do you do? Hello, Granny Wolf. My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf. <laughs> all the better to hear you with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. All the better to eat birthday cake. <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> Wendy, what's that in the middle of your cake? It is a little house made of sticks. Ah! Time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> You've blown the stick house down. Oh, well done. That's my goal. It was quite easy. <laughs> Houses made of sticks are easy to blow down. I always forget. What's your house made of, Mr Pig? It's made of bricks. Not straw. Bricks. Oh, of course. <laughs> that was a great party, Wendy. Yes, that was my best party ever. Oh. 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 <laughs> Happy birthday, Wendy! <laughs> Pedro the Cowboy! It is a lovely sunny day. Pedro has a new play tent. Here are Pepper, George, Danny Dog, Susie Sheep, and Wendy Wolf. Hello, Hello Pedro! Pedro. Howdy, everyone! Welcome to my cowboy camp! Yeehaw! It's a tent! It's a cowboy camp! Where cowboys sleep at night time! Are you going to sleep here in the night? <laughs> um, no. 
That might be a bit scary, but we can pretend it's night time. But it's not night time. Just pretend the sun is the moon. OK. okay. Pedro, can we be cowboys too? Yes, you could be my partners. <laughs> <laughs> is my little cowboy hungry? I sure am, Ma. That's how cowboys speak. Would you cowboys and cowgirls like something to eat too? Yes, please, Ma. Do the cowboys always camp next to their mummy's kitchen? No, you have to pretend the house is not here. This is the Wild West. What's that? The Wild West is the land where cowboys live. What do cowboys do? They tell stories, sing songs and eat beans. Beans on toast for everyone. Hooray! Cowboys love beans on toast. Everybody loves beans on toast. Who wants a cowboy song? Do you know a real cowboy song? Yes, I made it up. And it goes like this. I'm a brave cowboy and I'm eating my beans with a bing and a bong and a boo. Baked beans bang, baked beans boo, baked beans bingly bongly bang. Baked beans bang, baked beans boo, baked beans bingly bongly bang. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a story in the tent. I could tell a story. Make it scary. <laughs> it was a wet and windy night in the Wild West. Ooh. And wild animals were out looking for food. Looking for food at night? Some animals eat at night, Susie. Wild animals. Brrr. And the brave cowboy Pedro was alone in his tent. But he couldn't sleep because something was outside the tent. <coughs> was it a wild animal? What's that? It's a wild animal! <coughs> ah! Oh! It is a tiny little bird. Come to look at Pedro's tent. I think it was an eagle. Eagles live in the Wild West. Is everybody all right? Yes, Mummy. It's nearly home time. But we haven't done the pretend sleeping yet. Everybody back in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, partners. Good, Good night, Cowboy Pedro. Pedro. <sighs> I'm glad there aren't any wild animals out there. Oh! Wild animals! Ah! It's a wolf! Yes, it's my daddy. Oh! Mr Wolf has come to take Wendy Wolf home. All the parents are here to pick up the children. Bye-bye, Cowboy Pedro! Bye-bye, everyone! Are you coming in, Pedro? I want to pretend sleeping a bit more. OK. Mummy, can I come in now? Yes, my brave little cowboy. Even brave little cowboys like to sleep indoors sometimes. Night, Pedro. Good night, Ma. <laughs> School camp. Peppa and her friends are going on a school camp. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I don't feel very well. The bus is very bumpy. Oh dear, Pedro Pony is feeling a bit travel sick. Poor Pedro. Come and sit in the front with me. <laughs> there. Is that better? A little bit. Madam Gazelle. Oh, do you feel sick too, Zoe? I might feel sick later. Can I sit at the front just in case? <coughs> Can I sit at the front too? And, and me! me. Ha -ha. I'm sorry, children. You can't all sit at the front. Oh, Never mind. We're at the campsite now. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> This is our campsite. <laughs>
Breathe in the wonderful fresh air, children. <gasps> Excellent breathing. Now let's put up our tents. Peppa and her friends are putting up their tents. Children, you must each find a partner to share your tent. Susie, shall we share a tent? <laughs> I said I'd share with Zoe. Oh, sorry, Susie. I said I'd share with Rebecca. Rebecca, you said you'd share with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Emily, who are you going to share a tent with? Um, Zoe. OK, good. Now you can share with me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now I need sticks to make a campfire. We'll get sticks. But me and Pedro want to get sticks. Ha-ha, <laughs> you can all collect <laughs> sticks. <laughs> Peppa and her friends collect sticks for the campfire. <laughs> Wonderful. It is night time. Peppa and her friends are sitting around the campfire. Children, let's all sing a song. Yes! yes. The Bing Bong song, please. Oh, I'm not sure. Please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, Gazelle sing, sing the, the Bing, Bing Bong, Bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a Bing and a Bong and a Bing. Now, children, time for bed. <laughs> Good night, children. Good night, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are in their sleeping bags. I've got a torch. Me too. <laughs> Attention, children. No more giggling, please. <laughs> What was that funny noise? I don't know. There it is again. <coughs> Susie, where are you going? Madam Gazelle. <coughs> I'm a bit scared. Oh, would you like to come in? Yes, please. <coughs> Madam Gazelle. <coughs> I think I'm a bit scared too. Can I come in, please? Of course. <coughs> I think I might be scared later. I might be scared later too. And, and me. me! Come in, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the Bing Bong song, please? All right. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a Bing and a Bong and a Bing. Thank you.